let's go across the street from the Congress for a moment. There, there was a, a historic decision to this week out of the Supreme Court of the United States uh, on the First Amendment, the court holding uh, that the campaign finance reform prohibition on corporations and unions using money from their general funds to support or oppose candidates, that's a violation of free speech. So is this a vindication of the First Amendment or uh, is this a surrender to the plutocracy? Vindica <laughs> vindication, because uh, the court recognized the obvious, which is that you cannot disseminate political speech without money, and therefore to restrict money is to restrict the dissemination of speech. To that end, they have freed up the amount of money that will be spent. Now, some people say, well, corporations, that means Microsoft will be buying ads. Microsoft's trying to sell software. They're not interested in getting into political fights. What this really emancipates are nonprofit advocacy corporations, such as the Sierra Club. I picked that not at random because the Sierra Club was fined $28,000 in Florida last year for falling afoul of the incomprehensible, that thick set of regulations on our political speech. Concern, to George, let, let me just challenge, because you're the advocate on this. <laughs> uh, the concern is not just in elections, but when they take votes. Sure. They're going to take a vote, and they're going to know that if they vote the wrong way, Wall Street can spend against them, the insurance industry can spend against them directly right up to the day of the election. A mountain of social science has failed to demonstrate that con campaign contributions, as opposed to the convictions of the legislator and of his constituents, determine how someone votes. Cokie says we're awash in money. All federal elections last year, $5 billion, Congress up to the president, exactly, almost exactly what the country spends on tortilla chips. Well, this is not, we are not awash in money. This is a rich country. Second, well, you, you, what, you, what Matt said is exactly right. The Democrats are the ones who are profiting right now. The president came out and said, this is big oil and big gas. No, it's lawyers are the biggest contributors, and 83% of their money today is going to Democrats.